Spirit, speak with us right now in the name of Jesus. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Amen. Are you there? Make sure you're there in your Bible. People who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from the wicked ways. I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Read again with me. Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn out from the wicked ways, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and heal their land. No, some are not, are not reading. I want you to read louder, 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 louder in the name of Jesus. You go again? I want you to read. One, two, three, we start. Then if my people who uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let me, let me. Stand up, stand up, stand up and read. Because some are not reading yesterday, please. Some are not reading it. Stand up and read. Stand up and read. All of us. Yes, all of us. Stand up and we read. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, now this helps me to see those not have Bibles. And they have left them at home. <laughs> I know some have Bibles that have left at home. Okay, one, two, three, we go. Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from the wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will hear their love. Amen. Say that. This season we have been prayer and fasting seven days a week. And uh, well, this, is, this will be the, 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 the finishing of the first week. And the next week will begin tomorrow. And we are doing three weeks. Praise the Lord. We are finishing our prayer fasting on Easter Friday. Friday. And um, that Friday we'll have a Holy Communion. And uh, the Lord spoke to me to sponsor a meal to break the fast word of the church that day in the name of Jesus and we have a holy communion as we finish our fasting together here and uh, that will be Easter Friday holy communion and then uh, we shall have an evening wonderful moment and then we will break the fast together in the name of Jesus praise the Lord the reason why we are in this praying and fasting and seeking God, we need revival. Clap hands to Jesus. We need revival. We need revival. And uh, this needs everybody to take it on in your heart and believe that we need revival. Say that we need a revival. We need revival. We need revival. Ah, don't keep quiet, please. Some of us, let's say all of us, we need revival. We need revival. Yes, say it again. We need revival. We need revival. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Now, this part of the scripture, it was the Lord's response to Solomon. God was responding to Solomon after building the temple and uh, th he had given the most powerful sacrifice. Most powerful sacrifice. And uh, all people had gathered, the priests had gathered at the temple to celebrate and that the Shekinah glory had come in the church. God himself came in that temple. And when he came, the Lord spoke to the people. 
because Solomon had obeyed and done what his father had commanded him to do, and now they had finished, and something that had not happened happened that time. The glory was so intense that people could not walk. There was that revival, could not walk. When if you're in a compound, you will stay in a compound. If you're in the view, you stay in a compound. It was so intense. And the voice of the Lord spoke in heaven. And here, he was not speaking to the heathens or to the non born again. None. He was speaking to the real Jews, the right people. He spoke to them and he said, If my people shall do for things, then there will be revival. Then there will be the move of God. Then there will be greater breakthroughs. Then there will be greater impact. Then there will be restoration. Revival is, is restoration. Revival is healing. Revival is wonder. Revival is salvation. Revival is the glory of God that stays. Revival is miracles. Revival is not struggling to heal, to, to, heal to, to, to bring people to the Lord. Revival is speaking in the will of God. Revival is moving in the prophetic. Revival is operating in the fivefold ministry. Revival is when the Holy Spirit is at work. Revival is when there is free, when there is freedom, when there is a is there repentance? People come to the Lord very fast. Praise the Lord. Revival is when the worship goes high. Revival, I don't know how I can bring it, but it is anything that people say to God is at work. Praise the Lord. You are restored. You are brought back. Wonders happening. And now he begins to speak to them after they had given a sacrifice. If you read out a sacrifice, he comes and speaks and said, Now I'm ready to do something for you. Now I'm ready to work with you. I said, If my people, if my people, now he's beginning to speak not to people in the world, those who want to see changing or being delivered or being saved, he speaks to this one. Praise the Lord. The right ones. He speaks to the Christians, to the priests, to the pastors, to the Levites, to the worshippers, the prophets, the kings, those who know we are close to God. Praise the Lord. Those who know that I know God. This message was of the people out there. This one was written to the real people of God. Really, children of God. Now, when we read it in our time now, He's speaking to me, to you, to the church. This message is not to the non born again. Praise the Lord. It is to you. If my people, these ones who are already in my house, praise the Lord, already in a system, already pastors, Already ministers, already preachers, already worshippers, already apostles, already prophets. If my people, the ones I am using, the ones I have chosen, the 